Hi everyone, this is MJ Kim. Uh, welcome to my Kim Kintosh uh, YouTube channel. Uh, what I want to introduce today is a uh, Mac Mini 8.1 RAM upgrade. Is it the uh, release of 2018? The feature of this uh, Mac Mini, I have been uh, um, like uh, using um, uh, all different type of Mac Mini uh, since 2012, and then I have a 2012 uh, i5 i7. And uh, basically, this is a basic model of 2018 um, Mac Mini uh, i3. And then uh, I feel like i3 is not fast, uh, um, you know, CPU. And it's a uh, quad core 3.6 GHz. But basically, it's not that bad. I also have uh, all the old Mac, uh, Mac Pro 5.1. And I did a Geekbench um, compared to that features the single core as a service not that bad even though I have a 16 core of uh, you know Intel Xeon processors on it so uh, in this video uh, I have a basic 8 gigabyte RAM it will go to 64 gigabyte uh, unfortunately the 128 gigabyte SSD is soldiered on the logic board so you are not able to you know upgrade anything like that but you have a Thunderbolt in uh, the USB 2 and USB 3 so uh, with that one then you are able to use the external hard drive or like the SSD um, or docking station that I, I purchased and then there are different ways that you can save as external and also it, uh, you know uh, with the 128 gigabyte I'm not able to bring my iCloud with all my pictures and all that and sometimes you know it's um i feel like it uh, i only install just basic things in this uh, iMac 2018 but um also with uh, your network drive and a NAS drive and whatever you can have on any external cloud or things like that and then you are actually able to you know utilize uh, your mac mini uh after you upgrade from 8 gigab to uh, 64 gigabyte I feel like it, I can use more squeeze more the SSD to the you know almost the level 3-4 gigabyte because the uh, 64 gigabyte doesn't uh, use the uh, uh, virtual memories so it's pretty uh, good after I spend extra 350 bucks um, so as you can see from here on Max OS Pixel uh, version 11.3.1 uh, Mac Mini 2018, 3.6 uh, GHz quad core i3, and memory 64 GB, 2667 DDR4, and start of Mac OS Big Sur, graphic card UHD graphics 630 and 1.5 GB. So if you see the Mac Pro 8.1, uh, Mac Mini M1 chip is a, uh, you know, Consider the best chip in no fan and when I open it up uh, this uh, Mac inside there is a big uh, you know compared to uh, 2012 uh, 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 fan that is uh, more bigger than you know 2012 and as you can see the late 2020 Mac mini M1 chip score for single core is 1710 so my one is a fourth one Mac mini late uh, 2018 i3 um, that uh, score is 895 so uh, compared to uh, other two i5 i7 there is not much difference uh, between those two so only uh, like 15 percent uh, uh, performance compared to i7 and i3 I uh, but Mac mini m1 is almost a double up for the you know performance on that for the multi-core and then Mac Mini late 2020, those eight cores, uh, score is uh, 7411. And also I have uh, Mac Pro 5.1, which is uh, uh, 16 core. And then uh, that one that I can show the next slide. But my fourth one is Mac Mini late 2018, is a 31887. And also I have Mac Mini uh, late 2012. I have it um, uh, in beside my this desk. Uh, 1272 also I gave my i7 
um, the late 2012 for four core that's a 2612 so compared to Mac mini late 20 i7 uh, 2617 uh, you go to left one uh, Mac mini late uh, i7 723 and 895 so if you consider to buy i7 Mac mini 2012 and Mac mini uh, 2018 and then only difference is that you can upgrade the RAM up to 64 gigabytes so if you want to do the uh, graphics or like uh, music things uh, want to upgrade 16 gigabyte to higher and then this is the best bet but, but the speed performance as it is uh, you don't have much difference uh, between Mac Mini 2012 to 2020. This one, uh, probably used one, you can you have to um, buy a seven eight hundred bucks for the used one because it's only two or three years old. Um, but the Mac Mini 2012, you can buy three hundred bucks and you know basic um, you know four gigabyte for eight, or eight gigabyte you can easily upgrade with a you know thirty forty bucks and you can upgrade to um. Uh, 16 gigabyte and then if you replace hard disk to the SSD uh, with uh, like 400 450 bucks and you know you can have uh, almost a half price you can get the uh, Mac Mini 2012 just i7 those are you know and I consider that one still uh, fast speed but that i7 for Mac Mini 2012 uh, there is so much heat and you know the you know fan is running whenever it's uh, you know it's heavy things loading load um, so that's the thing that you need to consider but i5 that um you know a little bit lower performance but as a heating uh the like uh you know the heating matters and you know it's pretty much stable on that um this is a uh, internal like benchmark uh from my computer uh those uh mac mini all i have it and i test it so when you uh, run the Geekbench 4, uh, Mac Pro 5.1, 12 core, uh, fast uh, Mac Mini 8.1, uh, 4 core, and the single core is uh, 4238, and then uh, Mac, um, um, Mac Mini, uh, Mac Mini, uh, 4238, and then uh, 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 Mac Pro 5.1, 2670. Uh, but however, for the multi-core is uh, uh, Mac Mini uh, late. Uh, let's see, late uh, 2018 is so ten thousand seven hundred twenty-eight, and uh, Mac Mini uh, late uh, Mac Pro five point one is uh, eighteen hundred, uh, eighteen thousand um, five hundred forty-one. So multi-core the Mac Pro five point one one. Intel Xeon, this is uh, much more the you know the calculation on that but however for the single core as it's is it's better than uh, Mac Pro 5.1 uh, 12 core you know the Mac, Mac Pro uh, is uh, like almost 10 years old 5.1 10 years old but it's still expensive uh, I have 128 gigabyte on that uh, but uh, it's uh, still uh, give us a good uh, performance on that so this is the step to you know upgrade your Mac mini 8.1 basically it's not that hard as long as you have uh, your tool to uh, uh, unscrew the disk and then if you purchase uh, go to ifix.com and then um, you know you can buy some like the tools on that or you can go to Amazon and buy those uh, T-screws uh, to take them out and then you will have a uh, uh, you know this is three red and three orange and you can take him out from uh, the main cover so main cover there is a wireless uh, you know pin on it so you gently um, take him out those ones so it does uh, easy, easy to break it so when you break those pin then you are you are not able to use the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth so please be careful after that the uh, same thing with the uh, uh, this fan uh, this fan is uh, you gotta take him out the four screw two on front and two on back and then you are able to see uh, the uh, like uh, you see the, those on the bottom and then you gotta unscrew the uh, this uh, two and then two front and two on back so so after you remove the cable and then you will see 
uh, um, you will see all this uh, logic board on that and there is um, you um, need to take him out those big screw and then after you take him out two big screw then you are able to uh, remove you know see the left side in the picture and you will see the two two big screw so the star screw and then um, uh, you are able to remove out the logic board from the you know the your the you know case uh, like the aluminum case after that those time tag um, the 32 gigabyte uh, times two and then remove the uh, four eight gig uh, um, uh, four gigabyte two four gigabyte it, uh, which is eight gigabyte and it will be become uh, 32 gigabyte times two so 64 gigabyte on that so you after you remove the cover and then you will see uh, those two um, you know RAM uh, four uh, two eight uh, four gigabyte on that and then take them out and replace to uh, two thirty two gigabyte so this is the you know screw kit um, you know the that I uh, purchased from ifix.com and then um, 32 two, uh, 32 gigabytes which is 64 gigabyte uh, you can buy $300 US or like 420 uh, Canadian dollars so you know I bought from Amazon uh, fortunately um, right now is all the memories uh, I feel like it uh, more expensive than it used to be uh, so um, you know the I purchased in the uh, January this year and then I just upgraded in May I just keep it for four months um, because I was busy with other things uh, but uh, right now if you want to buy uh, this uh, 64 gigabyte memory from Canada and actually uh, also you need to uh, pay the 45 the import fee um, performance after upgrade you will see the 64 gigabyte 2600 67 megabyte DDR4 it still had a 10 gigabyte of free memory so basically uh, compared to 8 gigabyte to 64 gigabyte uh, there uh, are, are some the space for the virtual memory when you use the, your SSD but after that um, uh, SSD doesn't uh, use much the um, you know virtual memory on that because you have enough space uh, for the um, floating memories on that and also, um, you know, because of you have a 64 uh, gigabyte memory, I don't see here any like fans running uh, while I'm uh, running uh, this uh, uh, Mac uh, Mini 8.1. And then also, I want to introduce the Mac Mini docking station. And this docking station, probably you can buy 130 bucks uh, Canadian and 80, 90 dollar American and um the good thing is uh, you have a uh, sd and you also you have um uh, four um you have a four uh, you have a four the usb 3.0 on the back and you have a docking for the usb c types so if you are not if you don't have enough um, space for uh, usb 2.0 and then that that's good the choice to have a docking station also you can insert uh, your ssd or like hard disk so you can um, uh, do, uh, make a dual booting uh, for this mac mini so um and then also you can uh, use that one as a storage um extra storage so whenever you're making movies or like uh, save or some um, audio and video files and picture files things, uh, things like that and actually you can use the disk drive external drive as uh, your internal drive so you can um, actually booting from the, the, uh, the system that you want so like um, it's pretty cool that um, just a single upgrade spend extra $400 and then um, you know I don't think uh, you want you have to worry about to replace your Mac mini uh, within four or five years and it should be good for that uh, thank you very much for watching my video uh, if you want to share the idea and then uh, you feel free to reply me if you like my video and then you can click like and then you can subscribe it I want to develop uh, more like uh, you know but not only this Mac and but also do some rasp Raspberry project thank you very much to watch my video today and I will see you next time bye